Did your rabbit have her babies, but they all died? You want to know what to do next or why? That's what we're going to discuss in today's video. Oh. Hey guys, welcome back to another slightly rednecked video. Again, my name's Chris. If you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, deck, garage, or even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. Today we're going to be talking about what happens when your, your mother rabbit just doesn't take care of her babies and they end up dying. This is a question that's come up a whole lot in recent broadcasts in uh, the comments section and the live broadcast. So I figured it was time to go ahead and address this. I think I've talked about it in video before, but I've got a lot of new subscribers out there. So we're going to get this addressed for you guys. All right, first things first, there could be a number of reasons why your baby rabbits died. Uh, let me start with the simplest one. I may not be able to cover all of them because, I mean, like I said, a number of reasons and who knows really what they are. But the simplest thing would be um, if you don't have a good nest box. So if you have um, you know, no nesting material in there, if the mother had the babies on the cage floor and uh, they got exposed to the elements, they're not going to last very long exposed to the elements. So you have to have a good nest box, uh, a good nesting material, lots of straw. Uh, the mother should be pulling fur and covering up the babies. If she doesn't pull any fur, then you need to supplement that. And that could be, you know, cotton batting, something like that, just to cover them up with uh, so that they, they aren't exposed to the elements. And if that's the case, if they are exposed to the elements, that's probably why they died. Now that's pretty common for mother rabbits, first time mothers, to have their babies on the cage floor. You don't have very long to get them and get them into the nest box before they're going to be, well, they're just going to expire to the elements basically. Uh, but if that happens, don't stress about it too much. It's Like I said, it's common for first-time moms. They usually get the hang of it on their next litter or the litter after. I mean, they're going to get the hang of it, and it's, it's not going to be a big deal. So all you can do is just go ahead and rebreed your rabbit. Give her about a week or two to, to heal up from you know giving birth before you breed her again. But go ahead and rebreed her and then see how well she does on the next litter. And that's really honestly the answer to most of the problems you have with uh, you know if, you, if your baby rabbits die. Now there are some other reasons why your baby rabbits may be dying. Um, if your rabbit has a really big litter, say like she has like 12 or 13 babies, it's really hard for them to take care of that many babies and it's not uncommon for them to lose a couple of those. In fact, really about nine 10, somewhere right around in there is the max that most rubber, mother rabbits can usually handle. So if you have a litter bigger than nine and you end up losing one or two of them, that's just part of the part of it. I mean, that just happens and there's nothing wrong with your rabbit. It's just she can't quite handle that many babies and it's, it's okay. It's not anything to stress about. It's not pleasant, but it, it's nothing to worry about. All right, so let's talk about a different situation. Let's say, and this is one that's come up a lot lately. People have been saying, my rabbit had three babies, and uh, you know, the, after one day, one of them died, and then a couple of days later, the other two died. Uh, what do I do about that? Well, you know, the reason that they died, I mean, who knows? There could be a number of different reasons, but what it sounds like to me is that the mother is either not feeding them, which is incredibly rare, or she's not producing enough milk to feed those babies. So here's a couple of things that you need to do to make sure that your mother is well prepared to handle her babies. Uh, first of all, make sure that once she has her babies, keep her feeder full, completely full all the time. She gets to eat as much food as she wants to and use a good commercial rabbit pellet. Um, if you're feeding um, grass clippings from your yard and things like that, that may not be nutritionally balanced enough. So she may not be able, she just may not be in good enough shape to be able to produce enough milk to feed those baby rabbits. Um, if you're keeping her feed cut uh, pretty short, and she's only, you know, you're going along with that same practice of only feeding her as much as she can eat within 24 hours. She just may not be able to keep up the energy. I mean, it takes a lot of energy to, to produce milk and to feed babies. So again, once her baby, once her babies are, once she has her babies, there we go. Let me get that out. Um, you keep her feeder full. Also, make sure she has fresh water, access to fresh water as much as you can pretty much all the time. Um, in the wintertime here, the water freezes, but I go out in the morning, I, I water her in a bowl. She'll get as much water as she wants then, and then I go out in the afternoon, I water her again, make sure she has plenty of water and she's not getting dehydrated. Those are a couple of things that can cause her to dry up and not be able to produce enough milk to feed her babies, even if she's trying to. All right, and there are some other things too. Um, you you want to stay away from mint and things like that while the mother is lactating because mint can kind of dry up a, a mother's milk, but chances are that's probably not your problem. Um, it, okay, so let me back up then again and say that if your baby, if your mother rabbit did have babies, you've got the feeder full, uh, you've got, you're giving her plenty of water, all those things are right, she's got a great nest and all that, and she still lost her babies, 
again, that can go back to first-time mothers. Um, so if it is a first-time mother, sometimes they just don't know what to do and it takes them a little while to get the hang of it. So give her another chance, give her a week or two to recover from having the babies, and then go ahead and rebreed her and give her another chance. If it's a continuing issue, um, if it happens the next litter and the next litter after that, I, you know, honestly, I wouldn't give her more than three tries at the most. And if it happens every time that way, then chances are you've just got a rabbit that's not cut out to be a mother and it's time to look for a new mother rabbit. That's my opinion anyway, and that's probably going to be the issue. All right, so the other end of the spectrum, though, is if your rabbit is really old. So if, and really old in rabbit terms, breeding rabbit terms is about three to four years old, somewhere right around in there. So if you've got a rabbit that's three, four, maybe even five years old, and then suddenly it has a really small litter and it doesn't take care of them and they all end up dying, well, it could be that your mother rabbit is just aging out, she's done breeding, and it's time to look for a new breed of rabbit at that point too. I always give rabbits at least two tries, but I do find that if I have a rabbit that is a consistent, good mother producer, she produces you know large litters, she takes care of them well, and she does that time and time and time and time again, and then all of a sudden, boom, she has a really small litter, and she doesn't take care of them. It's usually a sign that she's just done breeding. Not always, sometimes she'll recover and be just fine the next, um, the next breeding. Which reminds me of one other thing too, make sure your rabbit's in good condition. Um, if your rabbit is extremely overweight, or extremely underweight, then don't breed them at that point. That could be a, that could be one of the reasons, especially if they're underweight, uh, where they are not being able to feed their rabbits. One other thing that may be causing issues with that too is if they have mastitis. So you would have to check under, I've got a, a video on mastitis. Um, I'll put a link up here. I think it's in this side, maybe it's in this side. I always get mixed up which side it's on, but I'll put a link up here to that video. Um, if you're concerned about that, that's probably not the case. It would probably be something that you would notice anyway. Uh, but mastitis can be a big issue issue when it comes to uh, lactating does and uh, that needs to be taken care of um, pretty quickly. In fact, you probably don't want to be even breeding that doe if she's got mastitis. But uh, I'm going to assume that's not the case because that's generally not the issue. Uh, so again, let me just kind of hopefully simplify this for you guys. If it's a first time mom, chances are it's just first time mom jitters. Um, make sure you've got the feed plenty of food, all the food she can eat, a good quality commercial rabbit pellet, and honestly about any commercial rabbit pellet is going to be just fine, but make sure she's got as much as she can eat, keep her feeder full, give her plenty of fresh water, and you know, give her another chance. That's, that's my, my bottom line to that. And I'm sorry if I can't answer all the questions that you have on that, but again, there's so many different things that can go into it. Um, if your you know, mother rabbit is overly stressed out for some reason, it's rare, but you know, that could cause some issues where they're not wanting to take care of her babies. But when you're talking about low litter sizes and babies dying after a couple of days, that sounds more like either bad mothering instincts, poor nutrition, or just, you know, an older rabbit, you know, something like that. So anyway, hopefully this helps you guys out. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, as always, God bless.